people are expecting to see, you know, literally the sun on Sunday. I mean, there are lots of questions. Will it be the news of the world? Well, probably not. I mean, the news of the world was a kind of guilty pleasure. A small, little-known fact about the news of the world was that 39% uh, of its readers were ABC ones. In other words, they were upmarket. So it wasn't just... It was, it was lots of people's guilty secret. Now, the Sun's not really in a position to do that. First of all, it's nowhere near as aggressive. Secondly, we're in the kind of Leveson, uh, post-Leveson, post-phone hacking environment. The plan to work seven days to run the News of the World and the Sun together goes back well before Millie Dowler and phone hacking became a big issue. So the basic planning for this operation has been in place for a long time, for quite a long time. I mean, it, more recently, of course, it, it has been executed very suddenly. And it was executed as quick as it was because Murdoch was facing a sort of virtual uprising, uh, a, you know, an insurrection almost amongst the staff at his favourite newspaper, The Sun, because ten of them had been arrested on the basis of information given by the company to the police. Uh, and there was general fear that if The Sun was going to become a sort of toxic brand, like, as the news of the world did, that Murdoch would come along and simply shut it. Well, he's confounded expectations on all of that. And not only is he saying it's, it's open for business, he says he likes it, it's his favourite paper, it, the, the ink runs in his veins and all the rest of it. And so the reason for moving so quickly to The Sun on Sunday was because you know, there, was a, there was a moment when internally it needed to be done. On the base of a 2.7 million daily sale, if they get the package right, they ought to be able to find a place on Sunday. And look, I think that this weekend, they'll be disappointed if they're honest with less than 3 million, because it's the first week, lots of people will buy it, see what it's like, and so on, and lots of promotion, adverts everywhere, and so on and so on and so on. If in the end it settles down to anywhere near 1.5 million, then in commercial terms it will be a success.